Swift Even Flow is about processes, manufacturing processes, service processes, the processes that companies use internally to make themselves work. And it's about the productivity of those processes. When somebody wants to increase productivity, they think about the factors of production. How can I make the labor on the line work better? How can this machine work better? And they think about things like automation. Oh, let's let's uh, take labor out and put a machine in. Or they think in terms of uh, uh, improving that labor through time and motion study or, or some other way. Swift even slow says that's not the way to do it. Uh, instead of thinking of the factors of production, what you want to do is think of yourselves as the materials moving through the process um, or the information moving through a, a service process or a company process. As, as you think of yourself as those materials, as the product being made, what you want to, redu what you want to do is reduce the variation that you're faced with, and that variation comes in three flavors, quality, quantities, and timing. And you want to reduce the throughput time, the clock time it takes from start to finish to go through it. So as you think of yourself as this product, you're trying to do two things. Reduce that variation, reduce the throughput time, and in doing so, you'll uncover all of the problems that, uh, that occurs in the, in, the, in the process. You'll be able to see what to fix, and that's how uh, the waste will come out and the improvement will be made. The natural inclination, if you're going to try to cut costs, is, well, what can I do to cut the cost of direct labor? What can I do to cut the cost of materials? What can I do to cut the cost of overhead? So you're thinking about things like automation. You're thinking about things like uh, uh, across-the-board uh, layoffs. You're thinking about uh, things like beating up on your vendors. You're not thinking about the waste and the improvements that you can make in the already existing process. If you're looking at Henry Ford in 1913, 1914 in Highland Park, he made some key decisions. First was uh, to eliminate the other models that he was going to, uh, that he was making at the time, and to focus exclusively on the Model T. And then, uh, under the banner of trying to increase uh, um, speed, uh, uh, he and his managers uh, uh, changed uh, from taking the uh, uh, men to the materials and instead took the materials to the men. So instead of teams of workers working on cars that were situated in a stationary position, he said, let's start to work bit by bit at, um, uh, at putting things on a moving assembly line. Machines were brought to the side of the line, uh, much like cells today. Um, uh, and uh, everything was done to try to move things right to the car and have the car move through the the plant. In 1926, for example, uh, uh, according to Ford, uh, it took 33 hours to go from an atom of iron in the barges off of the, the blast furnace at River Rouge until that atom of iron was in a finished car rolling off the assembly line. I see Swift even flow as the intellectual underpinnings for both Lean and Six Sigma. Six Sigma is about improving quality. Quality is variation number one uh, that you want to uh, that you want to reduce. Uh, the the lean philosophy is very much in tune with what Swift Even Flow is about. It too tries to reduce variation. It tries uh, to uh, uh, collapse uh, throughput times. But to me, Swift Even Flow is more strategic. Uh, when, when you use Six Sigma, when you use Lean, you're generally trying to fix uh, a process that's broken. But if you have Lean, if you, if you have uh, uh, Swift Even Flow in, in the, the back of your minds, then you can think uh, uh, more 
uh, easily about the changes to strategy that, that you might want to impose uh, to, uh, to revolutionize the, the business model itself. And uh, I can cite example after example where the, the use of Swift Even Flow energizes some thought that uh, if you're just trying to keep yourself with, with Six Sigma or keep yourself to lean, uh, uh, a lean philosophy, you wouldn't necessarily think those things. The situation that, that ICI, Nobel Explosives, found itself in in uh, the UK uh, about, uh, uh, about 20 years ago. Um, at that time, um, the coal industry was down, uh, so the sales of explosives were, were, were down. Uh, you had uh, a number of, of uh, competitors in the market, uh, some who were very much price sensitive. The quarries, who were the biggest users of explosives, were not at all loyal uh, to any of the producers. And so uh, uh, a company like ICI was trying to think of how can, we, how can we get out of this terrible industry that we're in with profit pressures, uh, disloyal uh, customers, uh, uh, competitors on price, uh, it was just a mess. As they th thought through things, uh, they said, well, well, if we see what's causing variation to our business, it was fickle customers. Uh, the, the customers were the ones who were demanding different quantities, different times. Uh, they were they, they were a source of a lot of the costs that were being incurred by a company like ICI. So what did the company then do? They said, well, gee, if we can, if we can grab a hold of the customer and start to manage the customer better, we can reduce the variation that we're faced with. And so they began offering service to their customers. We'll do all of the design for your blasts, we'll dig the holes, we'll pour the, the, uh, uh, the explosive down the hole, we'll fire the shot for you. And all you have to do is, is harvest the, the rock at, at the bottom of the cliff. And this was perfect for them. They saved money on, on the people that they needed uh, to develop the, uh, uh, the shots themselves. ICI had the expertise. So they, they were able to change a bad manufacturing product into a very uh, profitable service uh, whose institution was a barrier to entry for others. And thus was born what is today known as, as Orica. Uh, uh, and around the world we have this, this change to the business model that to me is an example of swift even flow.